Okay, so as we reach to the point to, for casting the gel, we need to assemble the tray and it is assembled with these black holders. So you push them inside so that they will be holding the gels. So you just push them and make sure that they are neat inside this tray. The same goes for this part. So now it's set and we can cast it. We have a special comp here and we'll go here after we place the agar gel. So now we wait and first part we can start with the usual gel which will be used for staining with fast blast. And you pour it slowly. So you pour it slowly and you really need to avoid the formation of bubbles, so do it slowly. It should be enough for now. And you place the comb so that it makes the wells for further placement of our samples. We also have the other one. So again, pour it slowly so that we do not bring any bubbles. This should be enough. Place a comb and put it aside. Next we will be doing the cyber green gels and it is said that we have 10,000 X concentrated cyber green and it means that we will be dissolving it in 100 ml so we are going to add 10,000 times less volume of cyber green and it makes it 10 microliters So we can pulse spin it. So it is ten. Be careful because it is light sensitive and we need to be very careful with it not to photo bleach it before the time. So we add and swirl it so we have a homogeneous gel solution. Now we do the same for casting, but we also will be covering it with foil so we do not kill our cyber green. Don't forget about the combs. So both of them are placed and now we need to add some 
to cover them with the foil. We leave it like this until the gel is really thick. Okay, now we have both of our gels ready and we are going to remove the comb slowly so that we do not damage the wells. So you just slowly pull them. And as you can see here, they are all done now and very solid. Check the wells again. They are all fine. Now we can switch to the preparation of our samples.